Welcome back to more X4 Foundations. My name is Tobel. Thanks for joining me again, friend, as we continue our galactic expansion gas. through the Hatikva's Choice System. Oh, gosh. Now, I'm going to be running for some missions for just a little bit because we are primarily waiting for our large station to get constructed. And once this is built, it's going to open up a couple different options. Number one, it's going to give us the research tree which is where we're going to be uh, experimenting. I really haven't done anything in research before, so it's going to be relatively new to me. So we'll be kind of learning about that together. Additionally, it is apparently the uh, black market thing. That's only available, or last I saw, and this might have been older information, but the black market thing will be... I'm so bad at stopping. <laughs> I'm glad we don't turn into a pace when we hit the wall. Uh, but the black market stuff will be available after we complete our station. There will be a a new quest that we can find by scanning down those data, uh, what are they called, the data leaks on a station. That's where we're going to get into possibly the black market activity or we're going to be able to get rid of the item we wanted. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a person here that I have a mission for to deliver basically just a couple of passenger transportation missions. Uh, there's a lost lockbox kind of a mission as well. So I'm going to do a few of those as I wait for our goods to be delivered. Strangely, last I checked, we were missing orders for energy cells, which is kind of weird. So available uh, missions here, sorry, available resources, we have Claytronics. We are getting the rest of the stuff delivered, which is interesting. It's just odd that I can't find the energy cells, although to be fair, you know what I could do? Let's do this. Ah, this is This would be kind of fun. Let's see, how much money do we have? We're continuing to get money because we have a miner who's out there going back and forth. Let's cancel the energy cell. Let's go to the global market. We'll do this ourselves. You know what? If you can't find someone to do it for you, just do it yourself. So let's go to M and I want to zoom out. We're going to... What's my Callisto trader doing? I think they're just going from point to point. <laughs> I feel like I've got her just going around doing nothing right now. Uh, default behavior, revisit known stations. Okay, so she's revisiting stations. So we are going to get 37,000 credits. Let's go ahead and queue up energy cells. So I have to add this to the filter. So I will add energy cells to the list. I think I forgot the number, maybe 100 and some odd. Let me double check real quick. So we are going to need 100 and one energy cells to get this bad boy going. Okay. So, that being said, we're going to grab the Callisto Trader. We are going to buy from, we'll zoom out, the cheapest provider of energy cells. How many can we buy? Cool, we can buy plenty of energy cells. Uh, actually, they're super cheap, too. Good to know. 101 energy cells confirmed. And then we're going to have, I'm going to right-click on our station here, and then transfer wares to, I guess, the build storage. Is that where... That is where the, yeah, that's that's the build wanted thing. Cool. So it's telling us what's, what exactly is wanted. So there we go. Once that's delivered, I think we're going to be in good shape at that point. I don't know, maybe once all of your goods are there, that is when the construction ship will show up. You can actually see people actively trading with our station, which is pretty freaking cool. But if we look at the plan build, we do have this 11 minute thing. So I believe this is saying as soon as all the goods are delivered, it's going to take 11 minutes to construct once the trader gets there. You can also see that the wear reservations, it includes our Callisto trader in this list, which is uh, pretty neat to be honest with you. So we are going to satisfy the needs of our own production chain and I will pick up our little friend here for a Hello. quest. I'll be back here in just a bit. You know, when we pick up these people, by the way, I kind of wonder where do they fit? <laughs> Because this is a rather small ship. Do they, like, get tucked away into some kind of a, a, a horizontal compartment? I don't think I've ever been in this camera angle before. This is kind of cool. So she comes in here. I mean, I suppose... Okay, to be fair, I suppose there is some room up here for maybe a tiny little cabin up by the shield generator. I kind of feel like they climb upstairs... And have you seen those Japanese hourly, or, or not hourly, but they're the um, 
the tiny little coffin hotels. Like, they're so tiny, all you can do is crawl in. I feel like that's where we're storing people at. We actually have room for some more. So I may as well just accept this, or uh, activate this other My Ship Left Me Behind mission. rut -row, we, uh, <laughs> there seems to be a pileup at the exit of Interstate 5. Mineral. There is Sentinel. a mineral... Crane. There is gas. a gas Sentinel. sentinel. There's a trade Vanguard. ship. And I think they all had a bit of a kerfluffle getting out of this gate. Okay, there we go. I think they're going to get themselves fixed up. Uh, we're almost there, by the way, in terms of our station. Our station, all we're waiting on right now is the delivery of our energy cells from our lovely ship. I'm dropping our little friend off. I love these the capital ships. And I think it's so cool that you can... Whatever system here lets you kind of link up with their... Uh, with their uh, inertia and you're kind of able to match their speed exactly and, and you don't really have to to worry about this complicated stuff when you're trying to dock it automatically helps you stay right next to the target ship but looking at our Darien HQ we are about one minute away from getting our Callisto trader to dock and then I guess we'll see whereabouts the builder ship is build a bob you're so close, my friend, yet so far. I don't know why the builder ship doesn't get closer, to be honest, but that's okay. What I might wind up doing, by the way, in this system, since this is where our headquarters is going to be, any entrance into this system, I'm probably going to drop a satellite. So probably a satellite here, a satellite here. Maybe we'll explore the entirety of Grand Exchange 1 just to make sure we know the ins and outs in case we have any issues. Hello? Who's... Who's doing bad stuff here? Am I getting scanned? Shit. Or is that just like a blue... I can't tell what that is. Um, I think I wanted to... Did I have to do anything else? I got so distracted by our Darian exchange thing. <laughs> our grand exchange. That I forgot my mission. Uh, hey, promotion to friend of the Federation. This is exciting. This is the first of the quest here. We were invited by a faction representative to be rewarded. So basically, we are starting down the path of the friend of the Federation with the Argon Federation. So very cool. We'll do that a little, little bit later on. And I will try to get my folks delivered. Okay, so that's an important lesson for us. <laughs> the autosave doesn't quite kick in a lot of times for a few minutes. And I must have hit... I don't know if that was a, a Trixie lockbox that was meant to drop some mines on me or what. And you will see that every so often. There are some lockboxes in the game that do drop mines. I'm going to reduce the autosave delay. Even though it takes a long time, I will go ahead and do the autosave. The autosave like, takes like almost 20 seconds sometimes. But I feel like in that kit situation there, and I'll keep, the, I'll keep this in the game. I won't cut it out of the video rather. Uh, just because I think it's important to see that kind of stuff in case you happen to experience it. But we are set back a little bit to the point where I was last saved at. So I think we're mostly... Actually, I have to reset my orders for my Callisto Sentinel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Sorry about that. Apparently lockboxes mean death for us. A quick update while I uh, try to do another lockbox mission that maybe I'll quick save before we start this one. But we should, at this point have all of the necessary items for the Darian HQ upgrade. If I take a look at plan build, we have 51, 101, 185. So in theory, we're actually ready to go. Now, we do have a builder assignment. I guess it's probably going to be making its way over from Argon. And honestly, that's not the worst thing to wait for it. If you really, really, really wanted one quickly, you could probably cancel that order and come out here to the main highway. Oftentimes, the builders are sitting around the gates. Like, they'll they'll just be hanging around here. Actually, is there one just sitting here at all? No, not... Why, what the heck is this? This is a lot of freighters. I wonder... I don't want to judge the current build on this alone, but back in the day, <laughs> which was a Tuesday, there was a massive problem with the trading AI. And a lot of stations would have so many traders... That they wound up getting backed up. By the way, here's actually an example of a random construction vessel that's just hanging around. But we'll we'll leave it as it is. I don't want to mess anything up. But yeah, there was a, there used to be a problem with that. So I'm hoping that the AI is they're just busy right now, and it's not going to be the to the point where what happens is so many delivery ships were trying to land at any given time that 
they caused a backup and the entire co economy collapsed because no goods could get transferred to and from stations. So hopefully that's not going to happen here. Hey, we finally found a bar. <laughs> it's from the turn-in for one of the lockbox quests. I doubt we're going to have any kind of black market person in here, but you know what? You never know. Who else is in here? Hello. Random crewman. Hello. Goodbye. With no skill. Terrifying. Uh, where? Crap. Yeah, there's no, uh... Wow, you have really good morale. Oh, hey! Holy crap. This is a four-star pilot. Well, hi there. Hi, friend. How you doing? Hello. How do you feel about getting a job? Sorry, I'm busy right now. You son of a bitch. All that work. We've been... Hello. No. Sorry, I'm busy I'm right I'm going to spam it until you... Hello. Sorry, I'm busy right okay, now. Okay, fine. I guess I give up. <sighs> All that work to try to find a high-skilled pilot. And we can't even recruit them. Fine. We'll come over here. Have a chat. I... Dude, you know it's we're inside, right? Like, we don't have to wear the flight suit. You're literally on a poker table or something, or a D&D table. All right, I'll turn these in. We're Thanks still waiting on our construction ship to get over to Thank our station. You. So kind of a long-winded episode where I'm just mostly waiting for things to get Great done work. before we move on to the next step. We'll keep... I want to stay here for a minute because I enjoy the music. I almost think maybe I should be canceling our construction order. If we still don't have a, con a construction guy here... Never mind, they're right there. There we go. We've got about 10 minutes left until the basic dock is done. So once that's completed, we'll get the next phase of our quest line. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the active mission for Become Friends of the Federation. So as we're just kind of sitting here and killing some time, let's go ahead and undock. And we're going to go visit the Argon Federation representative and chat with them about becoming, uh, you know, a more active member of the Argon Federation. So I think this is going to not only give us an actual reward in terms of our relation standing, so it's actually going to bump us up from, uh, I think it's going to be, yeah, the basic stuff to friend of the Federation, which does allow for some more stuff. So police license, military ship license, things like that. Oh, secret service membership. Yeah, I want to be a spy. But I believe it, it's going to start giving us some additional quests as well. And it might even be the overall to help with the war effort. So we're going to get involved with faction warfare. So that's a possibility. But here we are in front of... <sighs> really? This is how your desk is laid out? This is how your office? You stare at a fern all day? How do you even chat with people? What are they supposed to sit off to the side? <laughs> it's good to see you, friend. All right, so we're We've going to receive rank. Work with great interest and wanted to reward you for it. I'm pleased to present you with a new rank amongst our organization. Of course, this rank comes with great benefits. These benefits are tied to the rank, so if you lose the rank, the benefits go too. But with your record, I'm sure we won't have to worry about that. I hope you find these rewards fit into the work you've done and make the most of them. Oh, and you may also find that certain organizations under our jurisdiction now have interest in you joining their ranks. Once again, thank you for your efforts. We look forward to working with you more in the future. Good luck out there. Well, cool. There we go. So we have been promoted to friend of the Federation. Now, do we have any additional quests that are just sitting here? Nothing offered. Uh, what about... Here we go. Now we actually have guild mission offers. So we've got Argon versus Xenon and Argon versus the Holy Order. This is given by the Argon Federation. Uh, talk with Vic. And we're going to chat about the Holy Order and the overall army. Now, I don't know if I want to do this just yet because we really don't have a combat ship. And we won't for a hot second. We're actually making some good money from our... I think this is just from our miner who's just going out like going crazy doing mining nonstop. So good on our miner friend. Now, what did we get with this new rank? We are... It's so intermediate module doesn't actually tell me what these do. Now, I know one of these lets me do... Say, for example, the military ship license will let us go into a shipyard or wharf, I believe, and buy restricted ships. So if we look at Class M ships, now where you see there's a star, we actually could buy a Cerebus frigate. Or we could buy the Minotaur frigate in the small category. There is the Heavy Fighter with 4,000. That's probably... Uh, let's see, the Quasar has four weapon mounts on it, while the Eclipse Vanguard has four as well, but a much bigger hull. 
So this might be what we go for, for our heavy fighter setup, whenever, whenever we eventually do it, if we decide to do it or not. Now the, the other stuff, the secret service thing, I'm not entirely sure what that allows us to do. There was the Argon Secret Service. This this could just be quests, by the way. We, we still have illegal items on us. Oops. What about... Yeah, so Argon Secret Service membership. This might mean that we can scan other ships. Now, that's part of the police license. I think the police license will let you scan other ships for illegal items. And then you can basically pop them if you want to. What's a trade offer? I kind of wish this stuff gave you a little more information. Can I click the encyclopedia? Uh, there's really nothing that explains this stuff right here. I guess we'll find out over time, or you all who are incredibly knowledgeable about the game, just let me know if you do know what is uh, the secret to all this. Let's go real quick. Let's go to one of the trading corners, or let's see if there's any new rooms available. First off, this all looks like the same stuff. Let's go to the trader corner. Do 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 oh, such a fast elevator oh no where's my trader at well that's crap can i go behind the bar and and trade for myself <laughs> apparently not they've taken everything with them including uh including the main computer they just have a display look at that oh god it's a square apparently in the in the deep future we no longer care about widescreen all right so what are we or where not what where are we on the long road to getting our station constructed. I assume our little friend is going to chat with me once this construction actually finishes and kind of update the quest. So let's go to plan build. Awesome. Two minutes and 30 seconds. I'll tell you what. I'm going to sit here and listen to this Muzak and I'll come back once our quest is done. Hey, look at that. It actually says, it doesn't give me any information about it, but it does have all the different licenses here. This is real. I love how there's entries, but there's just no text at all. No supporting information. Uh, I did check the forums real quick, by the way, and it looks like that it's possibly related to letting you scan without purchasing a police license. But I don't know if that makes sense or not. So I'm not sure. Maybe they've updated it since that. A lot of the posts for X4, by the way, are from like 2018. So keep that in mind if you're out there looking for information. I should have probably saw that coming. All right, we're going to fly over to our shipyard since it is all finished with the construction and now we're going to dock to it, which is exciting. And we're going to find a bunch of bodies on board. No, I'm sure it'll be fine. Autopilot. Home sweet home to our beautiful, glowing, slightly radiated station. Oh, God, what the hell's right outside? Alligator. Mineral. A bunch of Xyarth ships. That was almost a smooth dodge, by the way. I'm very proud of that. Hive guard. Oh, oh, that's the uh, the CAC. That's the alligator, other group uh, of, of uh, ships here. Man, my the voice. I turned the voice up to hear the boron scientist, but uh, Betty, which is the ship computer, is insanely freaking loud right now. All right, Betty, calm down. Let's go ahead and dock. This is our brand new dock, by the way. This is our dock. We built this. We brought the parts over. Excuse me, and we all paid for it. So sweet, happy day in the morning. We have full control. Let's go ahead and dock up, see what our boring scientist friend has to say about life. Oh my god. I'll get there. I'll get there. A lot of pressure right now, okay? Gonna be a station full of dead bodies and loot, right? Or it's like a dungeon crawl, maybe? Nah. Fair enough. Mm, no. It appears we're still locked out from direct access. It seems I have no choice. I must leave my coat and join you on that station. Oh boy. Sounds like a rescue mission to me. Would be greatly appreciated. I will send instructions. <laughs> All that way for us to turn around and go somewhere else. Need to enact this escape plan so abruptly. A fast combat ship is preferable. Oh hi, we have a lot of red by our station here. Autonomous drone. This is the CAC hive guard. I think their autonomous zone sent out a message to other Xyarth ships because they're all under attack. We're going to let everybody be calm because we really don't want to mess with a full squadron when we are undefended. And mostly everyone's leaving us alone anyways. Okay. Where to, my friend? Where are we going? 
uh, escape plan. Here we go. Let's go ahead and activate the, the quest. Fly to Hatikva's Choice. Great. That's right where we were like three seconds ago. <laughs> Entering system. Hatikva's Choice. All right. So we've admit, made it to Hatikva's Choice, finally. I do hope this goes to plan. I have further refined the plan. Please take a look. Okay. So I think it wants us to take the uh do the capturing tutorial although i don't necessarily Cerberus, know Sentinel. if we need to so let's take a look at the mission brief as you can see i wish to escape the station via escort ship to station wait for ship to launch uh, escort actually, ship, ship out ship of go. sector cool to track me. i would like you to protect any ship which should get into trouble sure yeah i will with my tiny little pulse lasers now do we need to take this ship ourselves wait for ship Okay, fly to ARG Mercury Vanguard. This, is this ship just randomly abandoned? Or, wait, hang on a second. This is a massive ship. Oh crap, we have to do the quest thing. Hang on, I'm gonna drop a nav beacon here to come back to you later on. Uh, deploy nav beacon, okay. Mercury we are going to go over here Vanguard. to you. I will match your speed. There is a shortcut that I keep forgetting for that. What was that ship that was back there? That was that was that tied to our quest? That's a that's basically a capital ship, is it not? We did mark it. Can I um actually name my nav beacon? I can. Uh, we're gonna call this abandoned ship. And I can't spell, but we'll we'll know what it, what it means. Abandoned, I guess. <laughs> so we're going to have to escort this ship, fight anyone that wants to beat it up. Okay, wait for ship to launch, basically. Buffalo. Would that be too much? Like, would that be incredibly OP? The nice thing about X4, though, is every playthrough is completely different. So on one run, you might, early on, you might find a fighter. You know, somebody might jump out of a Discovery Vanguard or something like that. Other times, you might randomly find a freaking uh, Cer Cerberus Sentinel sitting here abandoned in the system. There's no pilot on board. Is this part of the quest, though? Or did it just happen to be here? I'm really confused about that. Wait for ship to launch. Cool beans. We Please are wait waiting patiently. To conclude its business. You know, while I'm sitting here, not doing anything at all, why don't we grab our Callisto? I'm going to take a look at your orders real quick. I don't want to interrupt you in the middle of a sail, so you're supposed to be... What are you up to right now? Dock and wait, dock and wait. Crap. I don't know which part you are in the trade. That's fine. What I'm going to do is have them come back home once they're done with this last trade. And you cannot give orders to a station. Callisto Sentinel. There we go. We're going to upgrade repair. I'm going to have them grab a couple of spare crew. Which may count as a pilot. I'm not entirely sure. Let's grab one crew and one marine. I don't think we're going to need a marine. But I don't entirely know. So let's add that to the shopping list. And that's going to be the last or the next thing they do. Well, at the end of the queue, that'll be the next thing they do. But we're going to see if we can bring them over here. And I, I really do want to try to capture this ship. Please protect this ship from Again, still home. not entirely sure well, if indeed. that was part of I this quest. No or maybe this just happened to be... A random abandoned ship hanging out. Another reason why it's nice to have a large satellite network. Oh, by the way, there's other types of satellites as well. So we do have advanced satellites, which have a much bigger radius. And uh, But if you have the entire sector scanned and you've got large satellites that are providing you lots of information, you can actually set somebody to go claim a ship whenever they, you know, whenever they, they find Vanguard. one. I have no idea where my quest ship is. It is... It just got on the highway. I'm successfully done. I will begin there we go. Work. Okay. Uh, so there's a ship. I believe Nova Vanguard is coming to play with our ship. So we're going to go ahead and get a little bit of combat going on. Oh, shit. We might be in a little bit of a weak ship here. Oh, they're also in a really mega weak ship. Their shields are already down almost. Then again, so are ours. I think there's another ship too, by the way. 
So let's try to kill this guy as quick as we can. Split make you pay for that. You no match for split. I like how the split sounds like Aaron from Chicago. <laughs> it's really, really not any kind of an accent on that guy. This might have been an old voice line. This was like the longest and most painful fight of my piloting career. We are going to be upgrading as soon as we can to a heavier combat you ship with missiles now. as well. Because turn fighting, little tiny ships, not my idea Second of help. a fun time. Oh my god, just jump out of your ship, man. There we go. Container, container. Good night. Alright, so that is all set. Now our mission is to what? Get back on the freeway? I'm assuming our ship already left the sector, but maybe not. Maybe they're still being chased by 10 more split that I'll have to kill. <laughs> that sound like Darius from Houston. <laughs> okay, cool. Our ship Archery. is Bang on its on. way out of the system, I think. Oh, S. are you another one? Mining ship S. No, you're not somebody who's going to be messing. Why are the Xenon mining in our system? That's so crazy. But yeah, if you're looking for something Archery. to do, go uh, go God. beat up on the, the uh, Xenon, apparently. They, they actively trade and hang out. Hey, I kind of accidentally went through this gate. There's the uh, Vanguard that we uh, played with. That apparently is just going to sit here now. Our quest ended. Whoa. Alligator. This is a fun yeah. system. So we are in a Xenon system. Oh, what is this electric shit? Oh god, am I about to die? Uh, I don't know what's going on. I see like electricity everywhere. I don't like being in fields of electricity. I don't- yeah, I think we're losing... Crap, 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 crap. Okay, I don't think this is a good place to be. I think we're losing hull. Yeah, we are definitely taking hull damage. Yeah, you don't say. Hazardous region. Let's GTFO as fast as we can. I wonder if they changed this to make uh, people not come in here until they're a little bit thicker. So we're in Tharka's Cascade. Yeah, that's interesting to know. <laughs> not coming back here anytime soon. Let's go ahead and go back home, I suppose, yet again. I, I owe love so much jumping back and forth and back and forth on go fetch missions but this should be the end of this chain we're gonna have our born scientist friend at home with us and hopefully they'll give us lots of fun uh, items and, and loots and who knows what hey while i've been futzing around we actually have a lot of money saved up i think i'm gonna go ahead and order a second tr uh mining ship the exact same way as i ordered the first mining ship and uh, same model, same parts as everything else. And we're just going to get a second one because the profits coming in. Actually, this game has a pretty good system of looking at profits, I thought. Let's take a look at... What would this be considered? Trade completed? So you're making it about 14000 per trade. And he's doing it about every four minutes, which is a pretty good amount of money. So I think we'll just get another miner. We're probably going to have a couple of quests... From here, I still want to do the mission that's going to give us the black market access. And we also still have 600,000 worth of this item in our inventory that we don't know where to sell. We also have this mysterious ship that was abandoned that I'm going to try to pick up here in just a bit and and, uh, and see if we can maybe loot that. Actually, hey, our Callisto grabbed a pilot. I'm going to have them come. Oh, God, I'm about to smash my system. Stop. Docking granted. I really appreciate that, that I can just stop and not blow up. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> it's coming in a little bit hot. I'm glad we installed those rubber mats to help with ship collisions. Hey, guess what? Oh, shit. We... <laughs> such a bad pilot right now. What is my mouse? Uh, we finally get to see our Boron friend in the flesh or in the tank, I suppose. He's something out of, like, Subnautica, I guess. All right, let's go. You and me, my friend. We are going to head over... Like, don't crash our, sh crash our ship. There we go. We're going to visit our Boron friend. We'll see what he has to say, and then I'm going to wrap the episode up. Discoverer. I will Thank try God. to remember to order a miner between episodes and uh, send them out, and then we'll move our Callisto closer to that abandoned ship. But I want to go there once everything is said and done. Let's go to the science laboratory. I'm, assu I'm assuming that's where a Boron scientist would want to hang out at. Da-da-da-da! 
He's so cute. At last, we meet face to face. Wow, that looks kind of a a sad life. Are you crossing your tentacles? How do you do science in here? There's not even a computer interface. Is it all voice activated? This installation is equipped for habitation of all races, and this room seems to be some sort of research area. I expect I could spend years poring over the data contained in these systems. Yes, I have already made some progress. There appears to be several things we can research at this facility. Please take a look. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this research menu real quick. There it is right there. There's our research tree. And see, I don't even know do. what it lets I us do. I find mention of this teleportation irresistible. But I leave it up to you to decide what we research. This will allow teleportation of an individual over a limited range. Kind of cool. We have to bring 100 events, electronics, and 2,000 energy cells in order to start the research. Cool. fundamental capabilities of a ship, we must first be able to tear it apart and put it together again. Okay, so are these going to be able to mod our different... I suggest we acquire... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. regulators, so I can better test weapon components... Doc module hack. This will allow you to gain blueprints by scanning leaks on certain modules. Okay, this is what I was referring to earlier when we were talking about the parts that can comprise your station. And we can hack certain things like production modules, which would give us their blueprints, which is relatively important. I didn't recall this being locked behind research, but it's been a minute. By the way, are we in combat music for any reason? There is a Xenon. Is it shooting our station? Okay, I'm going to go take care of that, friends, but I think we're okay. It's just one little tiny ship. But I do want to say thank you so much for joining me for this long episode of X4. I actually don't even know at the end of the day if it's going to be a long episode or not. I have a lot of cutting to do. It's like an hour and 30 minutes so far. So I will be splicing this footage together for you. And yeah. we will uh, meet again, my friends, in space very, very soon. I want to say thank you guys so much for your support. All the comments have been really helpful. Please do like, subscribe if you enjoy the video. It helps boost the popularity, which means more folks can get to see it and enjoy all of my poor decision making. And I'll see you again in the next video, friends. Until that time, please do take care of yourselves, fly safe, be well.